Yo dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mod 7 with your buddy, Super Turtle, guys. So today we, well for one, we have a lot of stuff here. If you guys missed the live stream, the last one we did so much, we got this sword called Morgan Freeman. It's really called Morgan, uh, but it has 101 attack damage. So yeah, it's amazing. We also got gifted this personal shrinking device uh, from G Slugger, our buddy. Um, yeah, if you guys missed that stream, go ahead and check it out. We have a villager killer area. It's amazing. We do a lot of cool stuff. But anywho, today we are getting into auto crafting of refined storage because we need to craft some storage materials. And that's what we're going to do. So to get started today, for one, we need to answer a couple things. One, um, if we go to refined storage here, we don't have a way of getting this easily. Like we technically do, but it's just, it's not automated. So that's what we're going to be working on right meow. Um, we're going to be getting slime balls automated and uh, string. So we can do that by using the centrifuge to separate the magma cream from uh, into blaze powder and slime balls. So that's what we're going to be working on in a little bit. Um, and I say in a little bit, I mean, right meow. Um, so yeah, let's put that here. We are going to find a way to kind of automate this. Um, so we need a basic generator here and then we have a centrifuge here. And so as long as we can pump items kind of into here, we should be okay. So let us see, where's a good spot. I want to, mm, you know, we need to do another thing too. We need to make a ender chest system so that means we're going to need some obsidian which means we're going to need some water we need some buckets some buckets i'm gonna go make some obsidian and i'll be our bees all right so with some obsidian in there we should need yep yeah, all we need is this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an ender chest that only works for coal um now do i have any black dye i've got two here um do you have two more? Let's see, what's the best way to get black dye? We, we can do this. How many wither roses do we have? Hmm. Is there an easy way to make these? Hmm, I don't think so. All right, we did it for the lulls. Okay, so what we need to do is take a diamond, two diamonds here, place these, boom, boom. And we shift right click with a diamond, yes. And then we can go triple black, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then this will be our coal production. Now I believe if we take an ender pearl and click it, yeah, we can increase the storage to the maximum amount, which is awesome. So now as you can see, we have a lot of storage here. So this is gonna hold uh, coal for us and this will just always be exporting coal. So let's look up exporting exporter here we just need one of these guys perfect and shebang okay so we will always export coal the coal is automated always going to be on hand which is amazing which is why we're doing this um and so what we will do is i think we can just place this guy I believe for um yeah clean this up a little bit exporter we set it to coal and as you can see, coal is filling in. Let's see if we can do some speed upgrades. All right, so we can do a couple here. So we'll go ahead and throw these four speed upgrades here. And as you can see, yep, it's filling up super quick. So that will always be ready. Uh, and then the cool thing is if we look at, whoops, not this guy. If we look at this guy here, the ender chest, you can see coal is filling up. So we can also create more of these chests whenever we need to. Um, and this will allow us to create the items that we need to. So what we're gonna do is put the uh, generator here. We're gonna put the ender chest, not nah, that facing that way. We need it facing upwards like so. And then we're gonna take a pipe, item pipe like this. And we killed a lot of witches last stream. <laughs> oh, not you put this here and then now this will be putting yes we got coal going in here so it's always going to generate power uh, as long as there's coal in our system which there will be and then the centrifuge here um, hmm. I 
we may... Hmm. We're gonna need another ender chest for our magma cream section. We have a bit of string here, which is pretty good. Um, so we can make a couple more of these guys. So we need at least two more. There we go. Cool beans. Okay. So here we go, shift, shift, click. Um, and then let's see, do we have any red dye? We do. Do we have any yellow dye? We can make some with a sunflower. Perfect, so we'll go here, 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 here with yellow. Oh, jeez. Well, that's yellow now. And then we can go like this with orange. And we can do the middle one. There we go, so now these are linked together. Let's grab some ender pearls real quick. There we go, those have been upgraded. And so we will export magma cream into this guy. And then we can put that there, so it will pump the magma cream right in. We don't really need a speed upgrade on this end here. But we'll be okay. All right, and then we are going to make... We're making a lot of ender chests. We're going to make a couple here, actually. Um, so what we need to do is we need to have one of these guys with an importer on it, and this will be our main input. So we'll always use this one. This will bring things right into the system. It'll be triple white. Um, triple white is the main input, so we need an importer. All right, and very similarly to the coal, um, Let's see, can you do this? If I were to do this, do this. No, you can't do it on the same one. Okay. Replace it like this. So this, oh, not that side. This will always be trying to bring items into the system from here. So no matter whatever it's doing, it's always gonna be sucking items in. So if we want to put anything there, we'll be good. Oh, we need to put the speed upgrades there as well. Uh, I'm actually only going to do three speed upgrades for now, and then we'll throw in a stack upgrade. And that is a really quick way of doing that, but cool. So that's good to go. Now I'm going to make a couple more ender chests here. All right, we're here at the mob farm we created a couple episodes ago or upgraded. And so we need to add one upgrade here, which is a nether star. If you guys are wondering where we got these, uh, check out the live stream. That's where we do things like that. We're gonna go up one more block so I don't accidentally hit that. Oh, we're gonna wait for these guys. Okay, so we're gonna click it. There we go. So that ignores players now, so it will always spawn as long as it's chunk loaded. So that is what we wanted. Let's see. I need to turn my magnet off. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Items are getting... Okay, I think these are... Items that really shouldn't be in here, but because of my magnet dragging them around, they probably got sucked up, which is okay. Oh! Alright, now that's going into an ender tank. So what we're gonna do is put this here. Put this here like so. And we're gonna go like this. Grab one of these. Whitelist only those. We can take these out. Okay, so magma cream should be the only thing getting exported into here. This has a void upgrade so that they'll be destroyed. Nothing can get too much into there, which is great. Okay, let's turn the hover off. All right, and we should see on this side, yes, we're already, it's already working. <clears throat> Amazing. We're gonna break in here. We're gonna put our main feed there. We're gonna do one of these, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. So that it exports only the items out the back and puts them right in to our system here. Beautiful, so this thing 
is set up good to go we don't have to touch it like we can do upgrade like speed upgrades on these um yeah let's see i have a couple of pipe upgrades so we can kind of just max these guys out um this one should be maxed out and then this one not they're not maxed out but they're really quick with those advanced ones so there we go we have slime balls good to go all right we patch it up and it looks great so yeah, there we go. Automatic slime balls being pumped into our system here. Uh, hmm. These should not do that. Okay, we're gonna put the slime balls where that O is. Uh, we have a couple of slime balls here because I've been doing this for a little bit, but shebang. All right, and this has got a couple of speed upgrades as well, or a couple upgrades, so we can have a lot of slime balls in there, so we don't need to worry too much about it. So let's get most of this stuff out of our inventory real quick. Okay, so the next step is going to be automating the string process here. So we're gonna take these industrial hemp seeds. We're actually gonna take all of these out because we will no longer need them over here. And we are actually gonna put them up here um, next to their friends. So I just need some farmland, I think. Actually, it's just dirt. I misspoke there. Okay, so we're gonna put quite a few of these guys in here. I think we'll stick with all of them yeah oh well all of them actually six of them so these guys will give us industrial hemp fibers when we put these into a crafter we get string so the next thing here is there is a second crafter back here that we need to actually switch these guys to so we need to actually break this off and reconnect this that's all we need to do for these guys and they should be okay we actually probably need to do that uh, and I should have a couple cable. Nope. Need to grab the pipes. Okay. Dang. So we're just gonna route these guys. I don't really wanna have to deal with it too much. So now those guys are going back to the right spot and then these guys are all going to the right spot. Little, little crazy, but we will make do. And we should see here, we don't need those in, but we do need these in. So we're gonna click here, you hit the U button for uses, hit this, and boom. Why, oh, okay. So this is gonna fill up with hemp seeds. Okay, um, I got an idea. So we are gonna set up a trash can for the hemp seeds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a drawer go into it first. Okay, we need to make a drawer. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here. We're gonna put a bunch of hemp seeds in. Um, and then we're gonna put, I need the, the locking hemp configuration tool. This will lock it. Good, and then all we need to do is put this here. And I think we can just simply put it like right here. Right, and so because it's first and only hemp seeds can go in there, it should prevent any more from coming over. So 187, 189. Yep, we should see that the hemp fibers come in, good. And then all we're gonna do down here is just take this and put it into a trash can and then we'll pull them out. And then we also have a speed upgrade so we can do it real quick. Yep, and then so only the hemp seeds can go in here, boom, they go into a trash can. Wait, oh, sorry. Right, and we should never have to worry about that. We should be able to put that there. Fast speed, boy. Yep, and we're good to go. So we now have string, we have binding automated, which means we have string, we have, uh, we have the binding, we have iron, we have diamond, we have gold, redstone, quartz. The only thing we don't have is glowstone, but we do have a lot of glowstone for those. But yeah, everything is ready for us to start auto crafting. Hey dudes and dudettes, I just wanna give a super special thank you shout out to MC Pro Hosting. They sponsor this server and the vanilla free to play fan server. Uh, yeah, their support is so amazing. They are always very responsive. They help us out all the time getting issues fixed. I highly recommend them. Uh, their services are hardly ever down. I think they've been down a total of two days in the past three years since they've been sponsoring. It's so, like they are absolutely amazing. So guys, I highly recommend 
recommend checking them out. And you can use code Turtle Club at checkout or my link down below to get 15% off your first month. Do it. Okay, guys. So we need to craft some things. Uh, we're going to be making the crafter here. Uh, so we're going to need a couple of these. We're going to start off with maybe six crafters and maybe we can go from there yes we can all right so we need a couple of these guys good thing oh wow i didn't realize i made two sticks of those okay shift clicking is not good all the time okay so we have our first crafter which is good but we need to make some of these this is again why we are doing this because we need to automate refined storage yes we have 18 of these guys very cool all right, we can toss these dudes in here. Oh, we also have some of these. We can make more of them. Amazing, cool. Beans, dudes. Okay, so we'll make some more here real quick. Yeah, look at that, we got a stack now. We got a stack now, we're in the lead. Cool, so we got a couple of these smelted up now. So let's go ahead and make the remainder of these. Yep, so we got a total of six. Now I do believe I am going to put these right here because our create system is no longer here. So the space is just kind of vacant, you know? So this is what we're doing. We're gonna just put it here. Put her there. Okay, so kind of a clean slate here. Uh, so we should be able to place these like so. Uh, oh, I thought that was six wide. Well, we can put it right here. And all we're gonna do is just connect it via there. So we need refined storage cables. We've got a couple of these bad boys, which is kind of cool. Okay, so all we need to do is that. I'm stuck. Now I'm not stuck. Now all these guys should be online. We're using 68 FE per tick. Amazing. I thought that was a person for a second. Okay, so all of these guys are now online. Um, that is really, really nice because now we can already start auto crafting things. So we do, actually we can't, we need to make the things to auto craft. So we need to come up with a pattern grid here, uh, which we need to make a grid, uh, which we, what do we need for the crafter? That's crafter manager. We need a pattern grid. So we need this guy. Sorry, the, they are lagging hardcore. Gonna make a couple of these dudes. There we go. And then a couple grids later. We're here. We got two. We have no glass. Uh, why is that the thing that we don't have? All right, so we need to make a pattern here out of glass. Jeez. Jeez, all out of glass. Okay. Oh, just kidding. We are not out of glass. Wow, look how convenient that is like really like i thought i didn't have enough glass cool so we can make this guy there we go a total of four of them beautiful make a couple patterns these are gonna hold the things oh are we out of the goods we're out of the quartz enriched iron if only i didn't have 116,000 iron and 26,000 quartz that might be a problem cool so we've got quite a bit Got, I want to go for 2,000. There we go. Cool. We're up to 3,300, which is good. Pattern grid. There we go. All right. So we can put this here and we'll be able to create patterns. Now we take the patterns. We go, boom, we can upload what we want. So obviously, first things first, processor binding. That's a must. Then we need raw basic processor. That's a good one. Then we need the gold version, and then we need the advanced, which uses diamonds. Good, and we're gonna put these each to their own because they are part of the same crafting recipe. So each one of those can work on crafting one component while the other is doing other things. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna make one of these and one of these. These are the cores, so uh, we'll probably just put both of them in here for now. Okay, so we have the pattern grid. We have some patterns. Let's make a crafting manager. So it's going to be able to manage all the crafts. So there we go. Crafting manager. Nope. What does need to be here? What are we missing? Oh, crafters. Can we auto craft that? Let's see. Core. Okay, so let's make three of these. Good. Let's make three of these. 
Good. So now we should be able to craft a crafter. Yes. Very good. All right. Crafting manager. Booyah. There we go. We got this guy. So we're going to put this dude over here. And so this will be able to look at all the different crafters we have. So we don't have to go and access each of these. So we can put them in a different room if we wanted to. But yes, now we have that. So these are good to go. And then a crafting monitor. This will go ahead and monitor the crafts that are befolding in front of us. We're going to take two of these guys. And now we should be able to make it. There we go. For some reason, now it works. All right. So let's break break these guys here and we can put in the crafting monitor and so this will let us know if anything's being crafted and then a fluid grid we're not going to worry too much about a fluid grid i don't think i'm going to hold too much fluid in this but yes we have all of the required materials to set up auto crafting so now we can start to do whatever we want and so what we're going to do at first is we're going to set up the recipes for storage so i want to be able to upgrade the storage we have automatically so i'm just hitting uses on this we're going to find out where it goes up to the next one and we're going to go down so we're going to go all the way to 64k very good we're going to go one beyond oh wait we got more we can go two beyond so yeah this is what we're going to have this is going to hold yeah a lot of storage so again we are going to place these in each of their own so that one can handle another. Perfect. Cool beans. So now if we go to refined storage, we should be able to at least craft one of those guys. That's right. These are not in it's come. It's from extra discs. Okay. So one of these, what does it take to craft? So we need to automate glass we need to automate the smelting of this we need to automate the smelting of that we need yeah we need to we need to get a smelter in here so what i want to do is go into mechanism and we're going to make a smelting factory actually yeah we're just going to make a smelting factory here energized smelter we can make that dude pretty quick and then we can upgrade him to this tier can we upgrade him to this tier no can we upgrade this guy can we have him at this tier what about this dude we can upgrade him to this tier what about this dude we can upgrade it to the ultimate smelting factory okay so we need a spot for a crafter to be on it because we do need one more crafter actually there we go this is the one we need perfect and then we also need an importer Okay, we only have eight of these available. It's good that we're doing this. All right, we have the importer here, and then we have the flux point. Very good. Okay, okay. So I believe we could actually probably set this guy up right here. Um, I know I just broke these blocks, but I probably need them gone. Okay, so we'll place... Yeah, we place the dude here. The dude. It's a crafter. Okay, and then we need this to be pointing downward. Maybe like this. Yes, perfect. All right, and then we can just run the cable. Actually, what we can do is put this here, the importer, and then we can just connect it there. Boom. So we're going to be taking items from the top. So this is going to be input and the right side is going to be output. Auto eject we're going to have on. So now anything we get from the top, we are going to be smelting. Now it's got power and let's create some recipes for it. So the way you create recipes for a process rather than a craft is like this. So it's going to be the processing method. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it the before and after. So we do need to craft up a couple of these guys. I'm just going to craft up one. So we have one of these. So we get this guy in the first. And then you need to make sure the recipes are balanced. And then this guy afterwards. So once it gets smelted, it gets done there. So if we look here, ultimate smelting factory, we take our recipe, put it here. And then if we go to refined storage, 
we can take all these items out. We can say, hey, I want 64 of these, and it knows what to do. And now this is being smelted. So we can hit sorting on. We're utilizing 180 FE per tick. Geez, slow wheeze, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> oh man, okay. So let's look up some mechanism energy upgrades. All right, we have speed upgrades. These are good, but we need the energy upgrade. And JEI is acting very laggy today. We're gonna shift click all those in and now we're using 18 FE per tick. So this should be holding out way better. Let's check it here. We can see that we are processing currently 37 processor bindings and we've crafted our scheduled you know, 36. So yeah, it's good to go. This is a really straight and forward method of doing that. And then the other thing too is we need to put quartz in here so we can get some silicone. And we know that one quartz equals one silicone. So we can add this pattern to the smelter. Really? Jeez Louise, they're being loud. All right, so anytime we need to craft up more of those, it will know to craft those up. Um, so the other things we need to go ahead and add are the other materials. And the other thing too is that that's how you do it manually, but you can do it automatically like this, one to one. Boom, so you just need the recipe here and it will allow you to create those. So we just put them here as well. We can also put upgrades onto that this guy over here so it'll do it be even faster and now that is good to go so if we go to extra storage theoretically we should other than glass be able to make this everything's been kind of automated okay so we need glass obviously we need sand and there is a way to actually automate this uh, to make sand but we need other materials like a stonework factory um, there we go. Material stonework factory. This requires pink slime. We're not here just yet in order to automate this. So I got to go collect some. So I'm going to go collect a couple stacks of sand and we will return. Wait, guys, we need to test out our sword on this thing. Okay. That was easy. We got it. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a couple of stacks of sand being smelted up here. That's a whole lot. Uh, I think we need to do some mechanism upgrades, otherwise we're gonna be here forever. Um, so yeah, let's get some speed upgrades in here. Uh, okay, we can make one. That works. It's faster than what it was doing, that's good. Okay, so we have the final seven upgrades. So this thing's gonna be quick, but we're gonna use, yeah, 1.8 thousand FE per tick which is too much. We need to definitely upgrade our system there, but we're just gonna get through the smelting of the sand. And then after that, we will lower it back down. Okay, so something I'm doing here is I'm actually crafting up uh, two stacks of the improved processors here. But what I've done is I've turned sorting off. And what this is doing is allowing for the nether quartz and raw and improved processors to both smelt at the same time. And it allows us to actually move about these really quickly. Uh, and the reason why we're doing that is I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of speed upgrades from refined storage, uh, mainly for the, oh wait, here, oh, wait a second, we need these, which require those, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna make a, st wow, a stack of those, okay. Um, we're gonna make a total of eight of these, and this guy's out of power. Okay, we got a little bit of power back, so let's go ahead and put in this, here so it's going to put in all the items really quickly and then we can put in okay so we're gonna do three we'll do four of them here and so that will allow us to get this quick but again if it needs to overflow for a bigger process like it will continue to do well right you see what i mean so it's gonna it's gonna do awesome so it's gonna be faster and we don't have to take the speed up right out because now we're only using 200 FE per tick. So I feel like it's just gonna be more efficient all the way around. But yeah, now we can make a lot of these guys which will allow us to make the stack upgrade for the guy down below here. And yeah, so we do a stack upgrade. So now we'll take out a stack at a time and it's just gonna be even quicker. So let this get done smelting. Let it do this real quick. 
yeah, really fast to just change that. And now the final kahuna, there we go. One of these guys, we can craft it. All right, so let's have a look. So this is what we're crafting here. And I wonder if this would benefit from a stack upgrade as well. We can try it. The crafter up top, I wonder if that would be affected by a stack upgrade. Can you even put a stack upgrade here? No, you can't, that makes sense, okay. Cool, and then there is a mod actually to upgrade all of the crafters, but we'll just let these run for a bit because it's crafting up all of the those it needs, all of these it needs. Yeah, we're definitely utilizing a lot of power. So let's have a look here. We already have 164K stored. Like there's gonna be so much storage in this. So I'm gonna let this go for a bit. I'm gonna be watching and yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, we are in the home stretch now. Three, two, one, and you should see it go bloop. Not really that quick, but yes, we crafted it. At, that only took us, geez, not, not, not that long. Let's go ahead and make up one of these guys. Yeah, probably all need those to be crafted. That's okay. We can craft up. Actually, let's just do a stack of these. We can do a stack of these and a stack of these. They, they can all kind of process up at the same time. These guys are still going, that's funny. So yeah, after a stack of these have been processed, we're only using 800 FE per tick. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get into bigger power generation because we definitely need to do that. But this is working really, really well. Whoops, I accidentally canceled those. Let's go ahead. Okay, I totally messed that up there. We did not craft enough of the, these. Um, yeah, let's craft up some more of these guys too. Okay, there we go. So these all should be crafting up very nicely. They are very good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make that, that we were gonna make the item that we wanted to make, but we couldn't. Yes, this guy here, I, actually, let's do the one down below. And this will tie us over for a while. <laughs> we are not even 10% of the, well, yeah, we're 10% of the way. We're not even 20% of the way there. So we're doing really good. It is filling up pretty quickly, but we do have a lot of storage, <clears throat> which is the point of today. We now have better storage. We automated slime balls. We automated string. We now have automatic crafting. We just tell it to do it for us and it does it. We can do this really quickly and then it stops real fast. And yeah, guys, this opens up a window to a lot of things being able to be crafted. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video today. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Super Turtle and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Take care, peace out, bye 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 bye.